Hello. In this video, we are going to determine or calculate the molality, small m, of a solution where we have been given its molarity, its big M. The specific case is we have a 2.50 molar solution of sodium chloride. And in the problem, we are given a crucial piece of information, the density of the solution. And the density is 1.08 grams per milliliter. The first step of the solution is to make an assumption. And we are going to assume that the volume of our solution is exactly one liter, which is equivalent to 1,000 milliliters. And the reason why we can do this is that molality and molarity are intensive properties that do not depend upon the size of the system. So we are free to choose any size system that we want, and we'll see shortly that choosing a volume of one liter makes the remainder of the calculations go more smoothly. Next, we are going to calculate the mass of the solution, knowing the fact that we know its volume and we know its density. If we multiply the volume times the density, it's going to give us the total mass. So the mass of the solution is equal to the density, which is 1.08 grams per milliliter, times the volume, which is 1,000 milliliters. And this gives us that the total mass of the solution is going to be 1,080 grams. Next, we want to determine how many moles of the solute that we have in our solution. So we know that we have a concentration of 2.50 molar, which means that we have 2.50 moles of sodium chloride, which is the solute, per liter of solution. And we have exactly one liter of solution. So that tells us that we have exactly 2.50 moles of sodium chloride. In our solution. Next, we want to calculate the molar mass of sodium chloride. So we're going to use the fact that the atomic weight of sodium, and we get this from our periodic table, is going to be 22.989 grams per mole. And for chlorine, this is going to be 35.453 grams per mole. So to get the molar mass of sodium chloride, we add these together, we get 58.442 grams per mole of sodium chloride. So this is the molar mass of sodium chloride. Now we can use the results of our previous two steps to find the mass of sodium chloride in the solution. So we've found that the molar mass is 58 0.442 grams of sodium chloride per mole of sodium chloride. And we also found that we had exactly 2.50 moles of sodium chloride. So by multiplication, now we can figure the total mass of sodium chloride in a solution, which works out to be 146.12 grams. So now we're going to use the fact that we know the mass of the total solution, so the total mass is equal to 1,080 grams. We also know the mass of the solute which is 146.12 grams. And if we subtract these values, we're going to get the mass of just the solvent. And 
and this total is 933.88 grams. Intuitively, what we use is the fact that the whole minus one of its parts gives us the other parts, or that the whole is the sum of its parts. The result is that the mass of the solvent has been determined to be 933.88 grams. Why do we need that in our calculation? Well, molarity is the number of moles per uh, the volume of the solvent, whereas molality involves the mass of the solvent. So in any molality problem, at some point, to correctly solve the problem, we must determine the mass of the solvent itself. We know that we have in our solution 2.50 moles of the solute, which is our sodium chloride. And it's actually in a mass of solvent, which is 933.88 grams. I'll just put this as H2O because our solvent is going to be water here. And now we're going to use the fact that there are 1,000 grams in a kilogram. of the solid. So we notice that our units of grams are going to cancel and we get a result in terms of the kilograms of the solvent. And this is found to be 2.68 moles of sodium chloride in one kilogram of solid. But by definition, this is exactly the molality of the solution. So we get that it's 2.68 mole little m sodium chloride. And we have solved our problem. I thank you very much for your attention. Have a good one. Hello. In this video, we are going to derive the canonical ensemble partition function for the quantum harmonic oscillator. This is the function that corresponds to molecular vibrations.